Thanks for waking up and watching WJCL 22 News this morning. Our Hardyville camera, it really captures beautiful sunrises almost every single morning. And we can see here's another one for you. An absolutely beautiful start to our Sunday. Traffic moving well there on 278 and temperatures right now fairly comfortable 72. We can see that humidity. It is a little sticky, a little bit more humid than where we were sitting yesterday as well as uh, towards the end of last week. But those winds coming out of the north about eight miles an hour. Not as strong with those wind gusts as we go into the afternoon. Those wind gusts are going to pick up just a little bit, but our radar right now not showing much activity. All of that rain is off the coast. Uh, we are seeing a couple of those light showers just reaching some of those coastal areas down in McIntosh County, but overall we're still seeing that high pressure. It's moved a little bit west now and we can see that stationary front just off of our coast and to our south. This is what's keeping us fairly dry as we head into this afternoon, although a couple of those coastal showers are going to push past that dry air and make their way into some of our coastal areas as we go into later this afternoon. I'll track it all out for you on Futurecast in just a moment, but your 12 hour forecast showing those temperatures gradually warming up into the mid 80s this afternoon. A good chance to see that rain about two to five o'clock. That's when we're going to see that best chance for a couple of those coastal showers, but some of us may not see any rain today, especially if you're west of I-95. Our beach and boating forecast, we can see there is a moderate rip current risk today. Sea and surf heights fairly similar to what we saw yesterday and your UV hazard. It's going to be high today, so make sure you pack that sunscreen, reapply it and your low tide is coming up in just a couple of minutes now at 717 this morning. Future cast showing a little bit of cloud cover as we go through later this morning, but then as we go into the early afternoon, still most of that rain is going to be off the coast. Although, like I showed you, we do have that stationary front set up and a lot of dry air to our north. So that's why our western counties are staying fairly uh, calm and quiet, but then a little bit of that moisture starts to make its way in right along I-95. And so that's why a couple of us, especially along the coast, could be seeing some of those scattered showers as we go into the afternoon. That rain will continue to push south and then we will be clear as we head overnight tonight. As we go into the next couple of days, those temperatures going to gradually warm back up into the low 90s by Tuesday and those feel like temperatures going to get back towards the hundreds as we head towards the Labor Day weekend. It's going to be hot. Then we will see this cold front is going to start to creep down towards our area, bring us a chance for a couple of those showers and storms as we go into later in the Labor Day weekend and into the uh, following work week. And we can see all of that setting up on our 10 day forecast. Those hot, humid conditions, they are creeping back into that forecast. We can see again low 90s by the middle of the week, and then we will see uh, those showers and storms moving back in for the end of our next work week. And we can see a little bit of that rain not completely ruling it out for our following weekend. And then for Labor Day, it does look like temperatures going to be right around our average for this time of year, about 90 degrees. And for that 10 day forecast of the coastline, Labor Day looks fairly similar out on the coast, and we can see our temperatures for this afternoon afternoon going to get into those mid 80s gradually warming into those low 90s by the end of the week and then again we will see that slight chance for those showers as we head towards the end of this week.